Welcome back to Master Glass with me, Livio Laro. Today, as part of my three series on Crown Royal, we're going to taste the Master Series. Full disclosure, uh, Crown Royal is not paying me to do this video. I am just doing it because I love you. Let's get into it. Okay, so I must admit that I'm the first that is confused when it comes to the Master Series of Crown Royal. Uh, preparing for this video, of course, I got some clarity, but for the longest time, I could not tell you which one was better than the other. There's Reserve, wow, that's Reserve, that sounds like amazing. Then there's Extra Old, wow, that sounds amazing too. Then there's Extra Rare, then there's Hand Selected. So which one of these is an upgrade or what's the difference to all of that? Well, that's what we're gonna find out with this video today. The first one that I am going to uh, try out today is called the Crown Royal Hand Selected Barrel. Now, what is this? As we learned in the first episode of this series, uh, in a bottle of regular Crown Royal Deluxe, there are 50 different barrels that are mixed together in that blend. This one is just one of those. And of course, it's intended to be more special, more beautiful. Uh, the color of this wonderful whiskey is uh, amber gold, which again, all of them are. So, uh, but we will just for uh, noteworthy reasons say that it is amber gold in color. On the nose, I get a lot more dry, spicy notes and getting a lot less of those vanilla notes that I was getting when I was uh, sniffing the Signature series. Yeah, really, really nice, just nice little spice notes to it. Oh, wow. Yes, if I were um, blind tasting this, I would say there is a really high content of rye in this uh, bottle because I'm getting those rye-like spicy notes to it. The vanilla notes and the caramel notes that are typical of Crown Royal are subdued in this case. And really I'm getting just a high content of a nice little spice, little breadiness on top of the palate and a fairly long finish. And uh, just a little mouth water going on right now, maybe a touch of um, white wine finish on my palate. Now, of course, there's no white wine in here. It's just what my, my aftertaste tastes like. And uh, there we have it. So I learned today that Crown Royal hand selected barrel uh, in this uh, expression, of course, has that little more spicy notes to it. We're gonna move on to the next one, and this is Crown Royal Extra Old. In this case, this bottle is made with a with with whiskeys that are finished in a uh, limousine cask French oak barrel, and so this is gonna give it a little more drier. Limousine oak is a little more dry than American oak, a little bit more funky, and arguably a little more cognac-y, right, if these have in fact aged cognac prior to. Oh yeah, definitely uh, cognac aromas in this. Just getting that whiny cognac, fresh, uh, highly acidic notes that you would get from the aroma of cognac in this glass of whiskey. Mm. The texture on this is amazing. Nice creamy mouthfeel. Really, really elegant and refined, I must say. Once again, I'm getting uh, a lot less of that vanilla caramel note that you find in Crown Royal. This time I'm just getting a high minerality, a touch of spice, a really, really, really small uh, touch of vanilla, and maybe some some of that pruniness or raisiny flavor that you could find uh, in a cognac. And I believe we found it also in a previous expression of Crown Royal that we drank in series one. That is exceptional for sure. 
So the next one is gonna be Crown Royal Reserve. This one here is made with less than 1% of their aged whiskey uh, barrels uh, for a style of Crown Royal that is, of course, going to be aged a little longer. Now, why on earth did I open the bottle when I already poured it? I don't know. Golden Amber, again, is the color here. Very delicate and perfumey notes. A lot, I'm getting a little of florality, which is interesting. Maybe a ton, a touch, if not a little more of just brininess, almost a little salty wind going on. And this one here, let me go ahead and taste. Mm. Yes, I am getting the more age content here, but I'm going back to almost when I was tasting the uh, first expressions of Crown Royal on episode one, where I'm getting again some cho dark chocolate, a little bit of coffee notes, a ton of spice, and a little bit of vanilla. Really, really good as well. All right, so the last one here is Crown Royal XR. Uh, of course, XR in this case stands for extra rare. This uh, Crown version here uh, uses a rare whiskey from La Salle Distillery, which of course they no longer are distilling from. So it's a secret, it's a little snowflake of its own. Once this is gone, I'm assuming it is gone forever. Uh, golden Amber, again, is the color here. On the aroma, I'm just getting a touch of spice and just a little bit of toast, you know, like a toasted bread with a little bit of spice. Not getting much vanilla, getting maybe a touch of brightness, just a tad. Yeah, this is just easy drinking. If the word smooth were a descriptor that I would like to use, which I don't, I would just call it really smooth. But the reality is, is it's just really easy drinking, easy going, nice and, and, uh, and round whiskey. And I'm getting just a touch of that coffee and chocolate that I get in every Crown Royal a touch of vanilla, a touch of cinnamon spice, but I'm just getting all of those are playing just really nicely together in what I see as being a very easy drinking, but firm and bold style of Crown Royal. Really cool. Um, so as far as mixology goes for these, again, like I did in the first one, I'm gonna just recommend one cocktail because of course these are not flavored. So it just depends on really what expression from the tasty notes that I gave you, you would really um, be looking for. And to keep it again, really simple, in this case, I'm gonna just go ahead and make an old fashioned. Let's do that. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and make this drink. In this case today, I'm gonna use the Crown XR. When we talked about it earlier, it had those nice round flavors that I really enjoyed. Not too much spice, not too much vanilla, not too much of that coffee, chocolate, vanilla, burnt sugar that Crown gives us. Just a very well-rounded version of all of those. So I'm gonna let the, the bitters and the sugar uh, do a little bit more talking along with this Crown XR. So let me go ahead and grab one sugar cube. I'm gonna take that cube and I'm gonna saturate it with three dashes of Angostura bitters, and then I'm gonna add to it just a tad of soda water, just like that. That'll allow me to make the paste. So I'm gonna take the spoon and just crumble this up and make a little paste out of it. Some people like to make this drink with a simple syrup of sorts, and that is also acceptable. I kind of enjoy the graininess of the sugar at the bottom of the drink. I do enjoy an old fashioned here and there, and I just love the fact that there's that graininess from the sugar on the bottom. So I love to do my version with a sugar cube or with granulated sugar if I don't have it. Okay, now in, in this platform here, I'm going to add two and a half ounces of the Crown XR, and the cap is really hard, so let's go with two. And 
and a half just like that okay now when I put the ice in here it's a little it becomes a little more difficult to mix because now the ice is in the way so I'm gonna mix it sort of twice I'm gonna just let the sugar the bitters the water the soda and the whiskey mm, um, kind of blend together and then I'm gonna do it again Give this all a nice little mix. Why not give it a little orange peel? Just like that. And then I'm going to give this a nice little maraschino cherry as well just like that okay let's see what this crown xr old-fashioned tastes like oh wow the orange zest really popped oh yeah oh yeah delicious everything's playing exactly how i thought nice little orange zest the cherries the syrup from the cherry is pushing up some flavors, but then within there, I'm getting the bitters from the Ango, I'm getting that sweetness from the sugar, and I'm getting those bold flavors from the Crown XR. And that'll do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, uh, and please do come back to Master Your Glass with me, Livio Laro, where you get expert instruction for everyday consumption.